hi guys welcome back so yeah like i said on my previous video i do have a bunch of new KLE frequency releases here this is the k in a bottle i've been playing around with this one so i will start with the rock vanilla rock candy so it has the top notes of the vanilla the pear the marshmallow the rum the yilang lang and in the heart it has the bubble gum jelly bean the caramel the jasmine and in the base it has the sugar the patchouli the tonka and the cashmere wood vetiver and sandalwood so i bought the 10 mil because i wanted to try it first as i have been disappointed by the last release although it's nice but not really there for me okay so for me when i tried this scent it's mostly floral you know it's like when I first put it on, it's mostly floral, but then it starts smelling that this cheap strawberry bubble gum that has been watered down. Not exactly the fancy bubble gum vibes that I was hoping for when I was seeing some reviews online. This scent is mostly pear vanilla and something that smells kind of synthetic and chemically. Honestly, it's a meh for me. It's a bit boring. It doesn't really stand out it does get lost in the bushes of Africa I'm just kidding but I'm actually not but I am I'm actually not. I mean I mean I, like I've seen some reviews on this one but mm -mm, it's not the girlies are not really saying the correct thing here however as it dries down it turns into a strong patchouli smell with a super sweet scent and a hint of vanilla i really wanted to like this one i really wanted to and it just didn't do it for me like i've always we've always and let me just not put like you know i'm gonna blast everyone we always always fall for the hype uh with this brand uh for me but nah it's i'm glad that i got uh the 10 mil and it's just gonna sit on my collection with the fact that i have it so let's move on to the um the k in a bottle so first let's start with um marrakesh in a bottle so it's orange blossom 24 this one has the notes of bergamot orange blossom pink pepper turkish rose new Rolly, and the cedar wood so for me again this opens up kind of marshmallowy with a blend of orange blossom and the new rolly followed by the earthy green and woody notes with a prominent cedar wood undertone as it develops the orange blossom do take at a center stage it's not overly sweet but gradually becomes sweeter and sweeter as it dries down a very airy scent and familiar kind of like familiar reminiscent of powdery marshmallows with a circle of sweetness and floral hint to it i get a spicy note that emerges after a few minutes with a mix uh, with a mixture of pink pepper and the turkish rose similar to what i find to sweet diamond pink pepper 25 i'm not quite sure what have you guys seen that however the cedar what does add the death like the woodiness to there it balances and the sweetness and the powder nerves while beautifully done the fragrance is somewhat simplistic and like strong projection for me anyways so if she de decides to release a full bottle of this one like the bigger one i uh, will stick to this one huh I will just stick to this one then i wore maui in a bottle sweet banana i was so happy when i saw this because i don't really have banana scents in my collection so this one has sweet banana pear coconut cream jasmine sandalwood vanilla listen i was actually surprised i was pleasantly surprised how much I love this fragrance. I don't have any banana scents in my collection. So I was unsure how 
it would smell on me the initial notes of creamy banana with whipped cream with hints of coconut and fresh pear were just so amazing and delightful however as this scent develops the sandalwood the vanilla and the jasmine did take a center stage here adding some warmth and some sweetness to it i love the coconut man it lingers it's, it's like a coconut cream it lingered in the background giving it a crisp coconut aroma overall this perfume is a unique and it's a beautiful addition to my collection while there is a slight slight synthetic note that i get there it is not overpowering i highly recommend this tropical scent and perfume for those for those who are looking for something different without a sunscreen aroma to it so let's move on to maldives in a bottle so maldives in a bottle this one has the notes of the rosemary the wild lemon star fruit banana blossom ylang ylang coconut milk listen for me this perfume is definitely more on the masculine side with its strong rosemary and lemon scent it's great for anyone i personally think it leans more towards masculine uh the opening is a bit herbal and citrusy then you get this hint of star fruit and banana flower that gives it a fruity twist the ylang ylang adds a tropical touch to it and a floral touch to it there is a subtle sweetness from the coconut milk it is nice but not for me overall it's a nice nice summer scent that gives off really the vacation vibes but it's not super unique i was hoping for something a bit more special but it's not what i found from maldives in a bottle capri in a bottle lemon sugar 14. this one has the notes of lemon Mm -hmm. lemon okay so it has the notes of lemon sugar freesia raspberry and the vanilla as well as the mask on there listen okay so this perfume is like a sweet and sugary lemon and raspberry iced tea with a hint of floral freesia I hope that makes sense it starts off strong but lightens up as time goes on again i did notice a synthetic smell to it which did not bother me uh that much uh on there but when it dries down it started to give me this musky scent with a bit of sweetness it does not project strongly it does not last it lasted longer than and the scent here which i was quite surprised however i was again hoping for more fresh and fruity vibes it's more like a sugary dessert with a synthetic twist perfect for warm weather but yeah i expected a little bit something more okay so here is what i think you know i've got opinions i've been gone away and i don't care i'm gonna give my opinion and if anyone is not gonna say it i will listen up mona katan firstly i love you i think you are a genius your marketing your creativity is just on point you are one of the best in marketing and i definitely look up to you but here it comes here what i feel i feel like I must say it for everyone else about your sense because everyone else seems to be not saying what needs to be said they care in a bottle all four of them were nice but let's be real they just don't measure up to the older care license in this is my humble opinion okay 
like deja vu vanilla 28 those are beautiful scents they don't measure up to the older kylie scents in my humble opinion i think that kylie needs to pump the brakes on all these new releases and focus maybe on establishing good quality scents Veke in a book just seems like a cheap money grab to me bordering on tacky and maybe you maybe just maybe you should have just made these as body mist instead of instead of trying to pass these uh or is uh, to pass them off as high-end fragrances honestly these scents are nothing special and they come off to me as pretty basic the last few releases that you have released kylie i'm talking to you that you have released they have not impressed me at all they don't last and they just don't project they just too expensive for the quality for what we are getting and that's my feedback i hope you're not gonna take this the wrong way because i will continue to get uh kaili fragrances but i think i'm gonna stick to the 10 mil sizes for now this is why i also did not get get the oud gazim collection because when i tried it at the harrods I was like, what is this? I might as well just go to Bath and Body Works and get something there. Because it's not, it was not E for me. So, yeah, don't take it, don't take this the wrong way. I just think that maybe concentrate in really creating good quality scents rather than just pumping out and releasing these scents that really gives body mist vibes at a high-end price so yeah that's my opinion on that thank you so much guys for watching i need to go change i need to discuss michael Kors. you know i have michael Kors, and i have a scandal absolute that i've gotten and i have juliet has a gun juliet so i'm gonna change my t-shirt and i will come back and share my thoughts on this thing okay so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you on my next video bye for now